Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. I hope you're all well. So, welcome to another episode of the LDM show. We're here with uh, Brother Sabur. How are you, Brother Sabur? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. It's been a while since we've done a show together, right? Yeah. Yeah, mashallah. So, inshallah, it'll be a good, sh good show today, inshallah. And what we're discussing today is some very, very important, very, very big campaigns, yeah. dawah campaigns, inshallah. And what I want to start with is discussing a campaign that took place a couple of years ago, which really changed the, the dawah scene, if you like, for the good, for the better, inshallah, which was, is life just a game? So maybe go through this briefly, remind us of what happened, how it went, and the changes it made, inshallah. Okay. So Bismillah, the way, uh, the way this campaign came around was actually um, an idea that Sheikh Ahmed Didat actually had oh, back in the early sure. 90s. And what his idea was to do was to basically get a whole group of du'at and just, you know, get them together give them some materials and they just go out in the hordes yeah, and they just go out to different locations in London, yes. New York, all these different places and they just engage in mass dawah. It's like a mass dawah day. So we held the first ever mass dawah day. Uh, um, it didn't happen globally, it just happened in the UK mm. but it was called the Olympics dawah day. This was a really really big dawah day. There's smaller ones that happened before that but this was the really big major one. So we had 500 people that mm. came together on the 4th of August. You were there yeah, right? Yeah I was there. That was good. But what did you see? You saw like a room full of yeah, yellow I mean, shirts. That was the time where I was, I was involved in dawah but I, you know these campaign things was the first time I went to this and I, I never expected it to be so big. So when we got there and all you see is this sea of yellow. Like from beginning to end, it was in a tent. Yeah. And you're sitting there and you look behind you, all you see is yellow everywhere. <laughs> and you look forward, all you see is yellow everywhere. And then you see Hamza in the front when he was wearing quite yellow. Big, yeah. yeah, he was big, mashallah. His videos are there as well. And he was wearing yellow as well. Yeah. So it was just it was amazing to see so many brothers come out basically and get involved in the dawah and yeah, it was it was a beautiful experience. It yeah. was it was a life changing. It was life changing for, like, for yeah. many, many people. Yeah. And it for the it broke the limits in terms of how many people can come together, give dawah. And then once this campaign was over, mm. uh, well, in terms of the main Dawa day, this video went viral, right? So you had this video, people around the world were inspired. Yeah. And what they started doing was they started doing sort of a copycat um, sort of campaign. So we had uh, Dawa teams in like Sweden. Which is a good thing. Which is a, good a thing. very good thing. Very yeah. good thing. Because yeah. we want people to replicate the yeah. work and inshallah carry on. So we had... Uh, the brothers from Bahrain, we had brothers from Sweden, we had brothers from India, we had brothers all over the world who were copying this campaign and really inspired by this campaign. And many, many Dawah teams were set up. And what we want to do now, inshallah, that was for the Olympics. Yes. What we're going to do now is 2014. Yes, mate. What's happening this year? We have the Brazil World Cup. Yes. Which is going to be massive. If you imagine the whole world is going to be enveloped in football fever. Yeah. And football, Imran, is a global religion. Yeah. It's not just all oh, football, yeah. it's a global It's religion. true, and uh, although I dislike football constantly, <laughs> I really dislike football. Nevertheless, it's this huge thing where millions of people, Muslims included, follow, they watch, especially the World Cup. It's, it's, the, one of the, it's the biggest event this year, yeah. let's put it that way. So it only makes sense to capitalize on such an opportunity to go out there and call people to Islam. Yeah, definitely. Right? And uh, the thing with football is that... Um, it, there's nothing wrong with obviously watching football, playing football yeah. is a very healthy thing. But is it healthy watching football as well? I never watch really <laughs> football. That's well, interesting. Depends what you're doing when you're watching football. Yeah. If you're like me, just eating like a sack of <laughs> chips or something. Um, so if you imagine, there's all these football fever around the world. Yeah. Now all these people, they are you know they're watching football and, and they're following their teams and they're doing this sort of thing, right? For some of them, football is a very it's like a religion. So the uh, Mexican coach and player, Hugo Ch uh, Sanchez, he said, whoever invented football yep. should be worshipped as God. So yeah. people take it really seriously. Yeah. People, some people think it's more than life and death, right? So what we want to do is we're going to use this opportunity to bring back all those people to a fundamental question. Yes. What is the goal this is it, isn't it? of life? I mean, brothers and sisters have probably seen this t-shirt several times, Speakers loads online. of different videos, it's out there, it's online everywhere and this is what well, we're basically explaining what's going on now, yeah. what's behind this. So it's a campaign. It's a campaign and we want brothers to all around the world get out there, print the shirts and flyers yourself wherever you are in the world, 
get involved in Dawah and the final for us, yep. the Global Dawah Day. In fact, I'm going to let you explain what that is. The Global Dawah Day. Okay, as explained by you to me, I'm going to explain to everyone else. Basically, the Global Dawah Day, as I understand it, which is an amazing concept, is that, okay, 2012 we had a Dawah Day, which was a huge campaign for the Muslims in London. Yep. This time round, we're not only in London, where we're expecting a thousand brothers to come out to join the Dawah and to give Dawah on the day, but we're all over the world in six different continents, basically. Yeah. So we're in countries like India, in Sweden, in Hong Kong, in uh, where else? Australia, Canada. Canada, America, and the list goes Barbados. on. Basically. Barbados, Malaysia. We can keep going, right? Yeah. And these are just some of the countries we know at the moment. There yeah. may be several more countries by the time the particular day, that special day inshallah comes around what which is, is the 5th of July 5th of July 5th of July which is going to be the day where all of the brothers come out inshallah I don't know and sisters, sisters as well inshallah brothers and sisters for a global dawah day on the 5th of July which will be all across the world in these yeah. six different continents and we come out and we call people to Islam so the amazing thing is it's the one day yeah. in the Ummah where everybody's going to go out yeah. on the 5th of July call people to Allah and it's so amazing that you know you have black Muslims, you have white Muslims, you have Chinese Muslims, you have Malay Muslims, you have so many different Muslims. Yeah. And we, you know, we may pray differently, we may look differently, we may have different costumes, well, costumes, clothes <laughs> and cultures. But on this day, we are going and we're telling yeah. people that there is none worthy of worship except the Creator. Yes. And He, I mean, there's a verse in the Quran which is that the final goal is to your Lord. Yeah. So we want to remind people that we're on earth for a purpose. And when we die, we're going to go back to the Creator who created us. Yes. He didn't ask us, I gave you a goal. Yes. Did you fulfill that goal? Did you fulfill that purpose? So it's going to be a momentous It's a beautiful stage, thing, bro, and it's a historical thing. I mean, as exciting as it's going to be, you know, as inspiring as, as it's going to be, one of the most beautiful things is that this is the first time in history, inshallah, inshallah, there's so many Muslims, the number of Muslims all around the world, the Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is going to come together, first time in history. Because if we look at when the Islam came, it was a small group of people. Yeah. And then the, those small group of people made the huge difference, right? Yeah. No time in history has there been so many Muslims in the Ummah. But for the first time, all of these Muslims, not all, but at least many of these Muslims from different parts of the world are going to come together in the numbers, thousands of Muslims, and call people back to that pure message Inshallah. of calling people back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is going to be the most beautiful thing. And imagine on the day of judgment, inshallah, all the brothers and sisters that are involved, that you can be standing there knowing somewhere in your heart that you were a part of that big day. It's a historic it's day. It's a historic day, man. So how do people get involved? How do you get involved? It's very, very simple, inshallah. First and foremost, go to missiondawah.com. All the details are there. There's videos there explaining what the campaign is, how it works. I'm sure there's going to be loads more videos coming out as well. What, uh, on the IRA channel. On the IRA channel. So missiondawah.com, go on to that. Check it out. Make sure you register. Don't miss this opportunity. Let's not be lazy. Yeah? Because yeah. you're not going to get opportunities like this every single well, day. Well, it's like the brothers. I mean, my, my last little thing which I want to say is like the brothers who missed out on the Olympics. Yes. They'll never have that experience yeah. again. It's like a once in a lifetime yeah. thing. So put yeah. yourself down in history. You know, come out and call people to this message. Missiondawah.com. And there's, there's an official trailer that's out as well regarding the campaign. Yep. Uh, inshallah and especially the youth out there I want to really encourage them to watch this trailer because it will really inspire you we have some other trailers as well small ones which we put out uh, separately check those out as well we'll probably put a link to these somewhere in this video maybe across his shirt because we want to promote this one so we don't want anyone to see this anymore yeah. it's not that we don't want to see it but yeah but it's a new one it's a new one yeah so we'll cover this area <laughs> with the links and uh, yeah register make sure you're there on the day if you have any questions regarding this they can uh, email who where would you, what would you uh, well, when you go on to Mission Dawa, there's all the information there. If you have any questions, they once you've registered, there is an email address that you can ask questions. Yes, to. so fantastic. It's all there for you guys. It's made very easy, so there's no excuses. Make sure you register, inshallah. Any other words? Just be there. Inshallah. Just be there, inshallah. Jazakallah khair, brother. Salaam alaikum.